Watercolour Flowers is the first in a crafting series of CD-ROMs, and as the title suggests, it's to do with flowers and watercolour. And what I'd like to do now is just quickly walk you through a tour of what's on the CD. So if we click Continue, we come to the main menu. And here we've got a, a choice of two ways to go, because it's really two CDs in one. We've got the watercolour flowers here on our right, and the flower painting tutorials here on our left. And I'm going to come back to those in a moment. So first, what I'd like to do is just take this opportunity to talk you through the CD here. So what we're going to do is click on to the watercolour flowers section, and up comes the menu here. Now, what we've got is a fantastic range of images on here. Now, let me just go through each one of them and explain them. So and forgive me if I sort of leap backwards and forwards, because as I said, this is two CDs really in one, and each of the parts sort of relate to the, each other. Now, on the first one here, we've got black and white outlines. And if I click on, you'll find the outlines for the flowers here. Now, there's 28 hand-painted watercolour flowers on here. And if I just say pick at random, let's go down to here, to the jar of gerberas, we can see that you get them in two sizes. And these really sort of equate to being uh, A5 and A6 cards. And they come in the full colour here, or black, full strength of black, and they come in a very light tint. Because what you can do is then print these out and hand paint them yourself, and with guidance from the tutorial video. And again, I'll come back to that later on. But that at least then explains why you've got the black and white illustrations here. And I say you've got those for all of the flowers here. So that's a really lovely selection for you to use. And of course, you don't just have to use watercolours. You could use uh, anything that you like, really, to, as, as your painting medium. So if we go back now, we've also then got the watercolour flowers in the full colour as they're painted. Let's come back down here to these flowers again and you can see now what it looks like painted in watercolour. Now you can use these in two ways, one as a guide for when you come to paint your own flowers. And remember you can change the colours, I've just painted these in, in red but you've got the choice to do really whatever you like. But they act then as a main guide for you to do your own paintings but also you can use them uh, to make just beautiful cards with. They're absolutely lovely images. And these again come in five different sizes and they can be used later on with the frames as well. Another exciting thing on here, which I'll show you in a minute, there's so much on the CD. So these are our flowers, our watercolour flowers, but they also come in decoupage. And if we go to this section and again click on to here, you can now see that they come, again, what I call large and small, really equates to A5 and A6. These are our decoupage flowers already cut out for you to work in. Uh, sorry, not already. You've got to do the cutting out, but they're already laid out for you to cut out. Click on to the small. You can go to the small one, back to the large and then to return, and we again have got a, a, a lovely selection here. And click back to return. And I'll come back and um, we'll have a look at the flowers. Actually, let's do that now. Let me come back here and we can just, if you can make out and appreciate it's a little bit small. But we've got a whole range, there's really something for everybody here. We've got irises, we've got lilies, water lilies, uh, daisies, chrysanthemums, uh, poppies, uh, there's a whole range of mixed ones in a vase. We've got our wild daisies, our um, sunflowers, roses. We've got a lovely selection of roses. In fact, there's, as I said, birds of prey, little blue uh, daisies, tulips. There really is something for everyone. Let me just click on to say the roses here, and you can see then it's a it's a sort of a watercolor painting. Um, in in our rows and again this is just can be used as toppers or within the frame and it's also a guide for you to do your own painting with and if i click back or oh, we've got say the foxglove here which is rather nice as well okay so that's the range of flowers that you're going to find on the on the cd and it really is something for every occasion but we've also got the backing papers you've got 120 here in full strength and what I call a tint. So if I just click on to set number one here. Now these are what I call generic. That means they'll work with any of the flowers really. If you want a nice light background here, click onto it. 
and you get this lovely sort of generic flower background. So they're not necessarily specific to the flowers that are here, but you'll find there's really one for every occasion that you're going to use. I click onto here and we've got these lovely sunflowers, but of course you could use those with the daffodils if you wanted to. There's no hard and fast rules here. And remember, if you were flower, mix, uh, flower arranging, you wouldn't have the same flowers as a backdrop as you would for the main one to, to show you. So it's a really a little bit like that as well, a little sort of design hint. And here we go in a cross section of different flowers uh, in the full strength and also the tint that we've just seen. So that gives you a little preview of what we've got on the uh, backing papers. And there's some extra things because we've got some sort of oriental flowers in there, some bamboo and different wicker background here, which incidentally works beautifully with the other flowers as well. And our silk colours and some ferns. In fact, it really is a lovely, lovely range of backing papers for you here. Um, but it doesn't stop there. We've also got our range of damask papers, again in two sets, in a range of colours which really just match the, the flowers that we've got. And if I just click onto one here, you can see that's the tint out of the full colour here. And each one then comes with a tinted background. They're in a set of four. That's a, a, a tint behind it as well. And then you get that. As a, as a lighter paper as well. So that's a really nice little section of papers there and I think you're going to enjoy using those again and again. Now we've also got the frames and here's a fantastic range of frames. So you could, if we just say click onto here, different sizes, the toppers will fit in. You can actually frame and decoupage up uh, and then put a frame around it as well or just have a single layer and then a frame just on your foam pads just raised slightly. Really does make a stunning card, a lovely little piece of artwork. So again a whole range of frames for you to choose from. This is one I particularly like as well. Again, that's there for you to explore and have a look through. We've got our sentiments, uh, 18 in total. And if I just click onto the section there, you can see up it comes and you can type your own text message in here. Again, these are what I call generic. They'll work with all of the flowers. They're not specific to each and individual one. And I think that gives you just a little bit more uh, scope with that as well. If I hit return, we can come back there. And last but not least, on this particular section, we've got the envelopes, which is the standard envelope templates for you. So you use these by print this out on one side, turn it over and print your backing paper on the other, fold it all up, and you've got a fantastic envelope there. Click return, and I'm just going to return back. We've got the boxes there, similar thing, print out the, the template or the net, and go back on there but we've got bonus papers as well let me just show you on here we've got some fantastic corners for you to start off with and give you some ideas for making your own we've got bonus plus so we've got the leaves which you can then build up and make your own borders with as well a whole range of watercolor painted jugs here that have put together that you can then put the flowers in the tulips bunch of flowers the beauty of this now is a crafting cd you can make your own images and work on with those and some insects we've got the dragonfly here in a range of sizes and the butterflies as well can i remind you as well if you look on the cd you can copy and paste any of these images that you want to there's a snapshot tool it's all on the website just drag across and then you can import that into your own graphics package as well also the jpegs for all the black and white illustrations are included because and if you go up to this button here if we go back to start it says click the button for downloads that just takes you to a special section that's set up for this cd-rom help menu over here everything that you'll need to get you started should you have a problem and then flower painting tutorials let me take you through this now you've got three hours of painting tutorials and all you simply do is just click onto them work your way through they're in chronological order very simple and then click on to one, up will come the video. It's a black introduction, so just wait a second as it fades in. And I recognize that chap, and there we go. And then to switch it off, just turn off that video, go up to the top right-hand corner and click on there, and that will get rid of 
that one for you. And you can just work your way through these lovely tutorials. Now, just one point to note here that at the start, I'm talking about you know real hardened watercolor painting here, but you don't have to use expensive brushes and papers. Really use whatever you've got crafting materials. I've just shown you really what I can sort of call the best of the best, but you can ignore that and just use really whatever you've got. Anyway, I hope that gives you an overview of what you'll find on, I think, this really exciting CD-ROM.